Hello friends, I am here to speak something on MSMEs, micro, small and medium enterprises. Indian economy is one of the emerging economy today where we are developing in a particular pace. So what happens today is normally there is lot of scope in the manufacturing sector, lot of enterprises are opening up, lot of enterprises are treated as sunrise industries in our economy. So our economy basically is flourishing because normally see the there are many industries which feed thousands of population, many industries supply inputs on continuous basis to the larger industries, many industries today again cater to the needs of the other clients, maybe see the overseas clients or maybe lo local or domestic level clients. So in such case what is important is normally you see the one thing is rest assured, industrialization is a continuous process and we also find that emerging enterprises are coming up. These emerging enterprises have got lot of contributions to our economy. Okay, how it contributes? Let us discuss later. Initially, let me tell you what this is about. This is about micro, small, and medium enterprises. In short, MSMEs. Micro, small, and medium enterprises. Micro, small, and medium enterprises was started in the year 2006. There is a separate act for this called as MSME Act, MSMED Act, Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprises Development Act 2006. Okay. Prior to that it was called as small and medium enterprises. Okay. Any enterprises normally is called as small and medium enterprises provided its turnover is very very less. Okay. So turnover is less. Up to 50 crores turnover if it is there it is treated as MSME. Okay. And MSME consists of two types of industries. The first type of industry is called as MSME which is manufacturing. MSME which is normally see the producer, it is called as producer MSME. Second type of MSME is called as MSME that provides services, services based MSMEs, one part is there. And in uh, almost every part of India, MSME is gaining its own importance. Why? Because we have got, see for industries, we have got industrial products manufacturing MSMEs. For services, we have got service based MSMEs. For agri agri agriculture industries, we have got agro based MSMEs. So uh, these are the normally the types of MSMEs. Now let us discuss what are the contributions of these MSMEs to our economic development. See more than 35% of our exports in, in Indian econo economy comes from MSME, micro, small and medium enterprises, one part. So why 35% uh, of the export means almost the one third of the export is accounted by MSMEs. Nearly 30% of the employment is created by MSMEs. So 30% employment creation and nearly 30% unemployment is demolished. That is possible in the case of MSMEs. Thirdly, we find that normally see the MSME is also one of the areas, uh, one of the area which uh, the, the researchers on normally can see the finding out new ideas, new business, business ventures. New business venture is possible in this. That is one side. And fourthly, MSME is one, one area which also contributes for economic development through again this is the generation of skilled manpower through uh, uh, coming, upcoming of normally see the new trends in the market, new trends in the industry, new trends in the business places and practices. So in such case normally see MSME is have, having a, a lot of role to do. MSME is also equals, uh, gives us normally certain ideas related to the specializations, specializations like normally see the suppose if MSME is a manufacturer, a manufacturer of a particular byproduct, so this MSME is um, uh, the byproducts is normally exported to the different countries. This is how normally the economic contributions come when as far as your MSME, MSME is concerned. Today when you look at normally the growth of MSME, MSME is experienced nearly three times the growth in the past 11 years, three times growth. We find that normally there is a separate zone called as industrial zones in almost all the cities, almost every major towns of the country where industrialization is normally again as a taking into consideration. Today we can find that almost every parts are manufactured, assembled, and also com com uh, and also put into the market. Uh, put into the market. We uh, see the MSMEs can basically create a market, and then from the, from, from that particular time onwards, normally you can find that a growth is experienced. One point is there. Now, so what are the so benefits of MSMEs? MSMEs benefits are as follows. Firstly. MSME is, is uh, because of the growth of industrialization normally there is a market for the product, locally made product. So that is one side. For example, now we look at normally say Manchester of the South, Coimbatore, Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. It manifests, there normally you can find it almost industrial products are made available. Like so many from small nut and bolt, we have got locally made mortars, we have got locally made, locally assembled so normally see the components available there at cheaper prices and that too with effective specialization, with extended warranty, with normally affordable prices. 
So that is one side. So in such case, normally again, MSME makes product available locally. One side. Second thing is normally again, we can find that normally see MSME is also is also a roadmap. Roadmap for the future development for the future economic growth. See because of MSMEs today we can find that normally see, effective manufacturing is taking place. Earlier we find that it was taking lot of time to manufacture. Lot of time time normally again see, was spent inside the uh, plant. And that too with normally see the traditional products. Today we can find that because of digitalizations. MSMEs are normally in, uh, see, testing their products effectively, making it digitalized, making it normally see the say available with zero defects. Almost in all MSMEs, we can find normally there is a quality control mechanism, quality control test, and once the product passes the quality control test, it is fit for the use. Okay, that is one side. So in such case, normally MSME is beneficial. And another area which normally MSME is beneficial for the, for the entrepreneurs is normally because of MSME. Lot of employment creation is possible. Lot of unused resources, unutilized resources, underutilized resources is utilized properly. Today, when you look at normally the tire industry, tire industry's major raw material is normally rubber itself. So today, because of growth in the automobiles, there is a growth in the tire industry. When there is a growth in tire industries, ultimately the whatever required rubber is is purchased locally. So there is a market created for this one part. MSM is also leading to the long term growth, long term growth of the industry because our trends can be studied, future market trends can also be analyzed. Okay, so predictions can be made and forecasting can be done. So in such case, normally see the for for MSMEs, it is also possible to lead a better roadmap ahead. One part is there. So in the case of long term MS, in the case of MSME, you can find that it is also possible to have joint venture contracts, management contracts, licensing, franchising. And other entry modes to come up. So in such case, normally you see the MSMEs have got a better mood to do and better better task to uh, do in the future. One point is there. Economic development can happen when as long as there is a growth of MSME. MSME is an engine for growth of economic development. To sum up, what I can say is micro, small, and medium enterprises are normally the engines of economic growth. Because of micro, small, and medium enterprises today, many of the other industries like ancillary industries also come up. When paint industry comes up, we can find that equally there is a brush industry which is also having a market, a picked up market. And because of this MSMEs, we can find that normally there is a vast scope for utilization of the resources, channelization of the resources, perfect mobilization of the resources. And we can also see that normally the, the increased specialization is possible, improved research and development is possible, better focusing towards people's need, customers' need, industrial needs is possible. So in such case, we need to grow, uh, make our MSMEs normally, normally to move ahead. Now, what are the ways in which normally we can make this MSMEs to move ahead? There is something called as MSME financing schemes. For MSMEs, we can find that normally see the banks have also today come up for financing this MSMEs. Like see the Without collateral, a funding is made up to rupees 25 lakhs for normally see the manufacturing industries. And without collateral, a funding is made up to 10 lakhs rupees for a startup, which is service-based industry. So this is made under normally see the two types of schemes. One is called as Prime Minister's Employment Guarantee Program Scheme. Under this scheme, normally see any person who wants to set up an MSME, normally see under, under registration, normally has to again undergo training, complete the training, and then normally give the training completion certificate to the bank. After giving this training completion certificate to the bank, he has to again make sure that normally see the he is completing other documentation and other formalities, and then he can get subsidized based loans. Okay, and here what happens is normally up to 25% for normal individuals, normal human beings, the subsidy is given. So up to 35% it is given for widows, women, and normally see the senior citizens. So in such case, a better startup is possible, and better MSME can also build over the years. Many of the people are taking advantage of this scheme, but still what has to be done is lot of awareness has to be spread regarding this emergence of the schemes. When people will come to know about these type of schemes, they will definitely come up with their own ideas and venture into the path where normally new MSMEs can be started. In the developed economies like Japan, China and America, we can find that there is lot of motivation given for normally those people who start up their enterprises. In India, presently the government is supporting. And in the days to come, what we can see is normally still there will be a lot of industrialization, new new local made products will come, industrialization will become normally specialized industries, still lot of innovations happen in industries, there is a lot of innovation yet to happen and then we can also see that lot of progress takes place within our industries. So to sum up what I can say is MSME is good, MSMEs will also march ahead in the future, it will also 
emerge even like a sunrise industries even in the future days also thank you very much